The annual statistics of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency show that 30% of its search and rescue incidents are as a direct result of machinery and equipment failure. Now the consequences of machinery or equipment failure can be very serious for you, your crew and indeed your family. So the MCA is very pleased to be sponsoring this DVD which provides some basic yet very useful information to help you maintain the health of your diesel engine. However, if you do get into trouble at sea, then please don't hesitate to call the Coast Guard on VHF Channel 16 or VHF DSC. If you wish to use your mobile phone to dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard when at sea, then only do so if you are in range and when your radio is unserviceable. Before we set sail, it's important that we carry out a few basic checks of the engine. The things that we're going to be looking at are the fluid levels, the belt tension and the basic condition of the engine. Let's start by checking the oil. To check the oil, we're going to need a rag. First, withdraw the dipstick and rub off the dirty oil. Locate the maximum and minimal marks dipstick back into the tube withdraw once again and note the oil level and you can see here that the oil is just below the maximum level it's important that we don't overtop the oil the oil shouldn't be much above the maximum level the next thing we're going to check is the gearbox oil level. First locate the dipstick on the top. In some boats you may need a spanner to undo this. Unscrew it. And wipe the dipstick clear. Then place back into the hole, but don't screw it down and withdraw it. As you can see, the oil level here is just above minimal level. The next thing we need to check is the condition of the oil. The oil should be clean and clear and should not be milky or black. If it's milky, it shows that we've got water ingress into the gearbox. Or if it's black, it shows signs that it's been overheating. 